Hi everyone, I'm Rockin' Robin. Today's recipe, I am making a healthy version of a honey mustard dressing that you can use on your salads and of course, you know, sandwiches, anything you want. And this was requested by a, a viewer, Rebecca Sewing. Thank you, Rebecca, for re requesting this. Uh, and if you guys have any requests or you wanna make comments, talk to me down in the comments. You know, I'd like to hear from you. All right, so today's recipe, we're, like I said, we're making this as healthy as we can. You know, if you look at what you can buy in the store and you read those ingredients, like I always encourage you, you'll see some things in there that maybe aren't the best for you. So we're gonna show you today, right now, on how to make it in a healthy way. So before we get into the recipe, let's just take a look. I happen to have a bottle of honey mustard dressing in my refrigerator, and this is one that my husband likes very much. And so let's have a look at those ingredients. Now, what do you see there? Well, we see the first thing is canola oil, and that's probably not the best thing to be eating. It's a very inflammatory uh, oil to be eating, and it's probably a GMO product. So I promise you that you probably won't see any of these other ingredients in our recipe today. All right, so let's go over our ingredients real quick. First up, and the most important in my mind, is the mayonnaise that we are using in this recipe, and I'm using Primal Kitchen's uh, avocado mayonnaise. Check out these ingredients. They are super fantastic, clean, delicious. You know, that they're just what you wanna use. Costco sells another brand. It's called, I believe, Sir Kensington, and it's a great deal in terms of cost. Uh, but I personally don't like the flavor as well. So that's up to you. But I highly recommend trying out these avocado may mayonnaises because they are really much better for you. All right, we've got some raw honey here. I have some uh, Dijon mustard. You wanna use Dijon, I think, for the best flavor. And mine's organic. We have some apple cider vinegar, some extra virgin olive oil, garlic powder, a little bit of turmeric. Turmeric's good for you, as you know. We're just using a pinch here because of the nutrition and also just to give it a little more yellow coloring to it so it looks more yellowish, like honey mustard. We'll need a little salt and pepper and some fresh lemon juice. So now all you have to do is place everything into a bowl. Very simple. So in there I've got my mayonnaise. And by the way, you can get all the written instructions below the video. Click where it says show more if you're on a desktop. There's the mustard. So if you're on a mobile phone, then what you wanna do there is just there's this little triangle below the video on the right-hand side. You click that and it opens up the description area and you can um, you know, read the, the written recipe along with a bunch of other information down there. Okay, apple cider vinegar goes in. That gives it its nice little kind of tartness. The lemon juice, nice bright flavor. Garlic powder. That pinch of salt that we were talking about, just a little pinch there. Now, with the turmeric, don't go too heavy with the turmeric because turmeric is very powerful in flavor. I have an eighth of a teaspoon measuring spoon here. Okay, it's essentially just a pinch, you know? There you go. Just a little bit. And we'll crack in some pepper. I don't know, four or five cracks, maybe six. And we've got our honey. We gotta add that. And this makes a fair amount. Uh, if you need more than this, then you can certainly double it and even triple this recipe, not a problem. And here is our olive oil. Bring out your handy dandy whisk and just blend everything until it's completely combined. And this should keep in the refrigerator for you know, quite a while. A good week, for sure, maybe longer, maybe two weeks. Now, once you give this a nice, really good mix, go ahead and give it a taste, right? You wanna make sure that it's the way you like it. So, just a little taste. And you can adjust and say, oh, I'm, I, it's not sweet enough. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. It's not quite sweet enough. I'm gonna add just a little bit more honey, not too much. It's got a little tang to it. It's, it's very delicious, guys. All right, so after that, we'll just pour it into a jar and store it in the fridge. Look at how nice and creamy this is. All right, it's time for our chef joke. Here we go. Why is the chef so mean? 
because she beats the eggs and whips the cream. So when you're ready to use this dressing, go ahead and give it a stir. Look at how beautiful that looks. And then just drizzle it over your salad. That's my favorite way to serve it up. It's also great as a spread over sandwiches or hamburgers, anything like that. So, hey, might you be interested in another recipe? Well, I've got one for you. It's my balsamic vinaigrette. If you want to try that out, it's got some really great reviews and people love it. And I also have another recipe for you you might want to think about is a salad recipe called my bacon, lettuce, and tomato. It also has an egg over the top of it and it was a recipe recreation that I had at a restaurant. And it turned out fantastic, super delicious. So. Thank you so much for watching everybody. I do appreciate it. And uh, don't forget to leave me a comment or a recipe request. I'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. All right, we'll see you next time with another delicious and nutritious and it will make you ambitious recipe.